was a shade before three. Times low after seven. Maybe just before eight, I don't remember. I know it's in that range though. We're gonna do a little scouting on the bay. We're not going to the land of Nada. I'm on my way to pick up Denny. We're gonna to go to the Nautilus. The Nautilus site first for a few minutes. If we don't see anything now, we're gonna head west to the cave. Beaver's, uh, Beaver's already at the Nautilus spot. He told us to give us a report. But we haven't heard from him, so we're bound that way anyway. Stand by for Monday afternoon. The land of gold and silver. And bobby pins. And God knows what else. Because summertime, we don't find many bobby pins. I just threw that in there for us the hell of it. I'm ranting today for some reason. It's uh, it's in the 60s and it's uh, probably going to drop a little teeny bit as the as the afternoon drops along, you know. I got Bermudas and flip-flops. Uh, John's got waders on, he told me. and I don't know what Denny's going to have on. That's probably more information as you need it. <laughs> See you later. Hey, what's the name thing from yesterday? I cleaned it up as much as possible. It don't help the ID of it at all. All it is is some kind of metal thing. Your guess is as good as mine. We're getting ready to go in. Nautilus Beach. Well, we've seen Beaver's truck. Let's see what he's doing down here. As soon as we get up this hill. Now they shoveled all this sand off this walkway about two weeks ago. You can see it's another eight or ten inches blowed back on it. The strength of Mother Nature. There's Beavy. I don't see no Nautilus. I don't see no rocks. I don't see many beaver holes, beaver burrs or whatever. We'll give it a try here, a short spin. Not so much for that hot goose. We're bound to another spot where the beach should be better. I think we're just a day early after all this wind. I think tomorrow will be a better day. Stand by for the next spin. Well, we're bound for Kilimanjaro Hill. Kilimanjaro's not bad going this way, but coming the other way. God, it's like, oh, I don't even like to think about it. Location number three. What a, what a hike. Yeah, it does look better. At least the beach has got some beach, rocks and shells. Low spot over there, another one down there. This could be it. If I can get down it. You stumble here, you'd be going downhill for two days. Here's the tide came up right along here. You can see the grass line. You see how it goes. There's a bit of Bowser's on the beach. I only got here just before you guys did, but went down that way a little bit. Check it out nothing all iron stuff i dug up a bunch of stuff but it was all big iron targets down that way yeah it don't look like i hope it was going to look uh -huh. there's lots of right here in this area i only went through there just once but there's lots of little rocks and shells yeah. and all that stuff this is where usually one of the holes usually is right so i don't know the tide will be down a little bit lower maybe it'll be worth waiting out there and getting your toes wet in a little bit you know I think I'm gonna hang around here a minute, but don't pick up. I'll head to the cave. Yeah, a lot of shells on the beach here. Kind of sandy, gravelly sand. A lot of shells. You see them? Great. There's a whole brick. Looks like there ought to be something here, but so far nothing. As soon as I said that, I got a hit. Right there. 
Stand by, let's see what this is. Come out of there, little taquito. That sounds pretty damn good. I don't have no idea what it is, but it looks like some kind of aluminum cap. Like a shell bullet casing, but it's not, you know, it's aluminum, I think. It's not a bullet, or no, by no means. It is some kind of metal casing. Okay, first taquito. Well, we got some kind of target here. I don't know what it is. We dug a. They dug a red pull tab, a blue pull tab, two old top, two uh, aluminum pull tabs. I don't know what this is going to be. She's got locked on the pull tab boat. I can't get her. I can't pull her out. You know, we got this out. Sounds like a coin, but it don't have to be. Looks like a rock to me. Oh, that's because that's not it. There it is, whatever it is. It is a dime of some sort. It's a rosy dime. Here's to be clad. Yeah, clad dime. Our first coin of the day. Well, we're going to leave this hot goose and go to the cave. This hot goose is uh, not very hot. Might be better when the tide gets off, but like I said, it's going to be four more hours. Or three probably by now. We'll see you in a few minutes. Well, the tide is way up here. We've only been a mile, but it's a lot of difference in the beach here than it was where we left from. You can see it's uh, way up on the pipe over there where we normally walk under that pipe. I think we're going to make a move and not even stop here. This is not really interesting at all. We have to go to the rocks. Well, we're at the rocks. Tide's high here, too. We're just doomed for day for high tide. All this wind we had is... It's going to keep the tide pushed up a high, I guess. We'll go around the corner and see what's going on. Stand by. Well, just as soon as I put my headphones on, I hit a target. Sounds like a loud coin. Oh, that's it. Some kind of big damn thing. Bummer. It's just aluminum. Okay. So much for that. Target, target number two is a low tone. See if we got it. With a little gold tint. Take it here. Well, I noticed one target right here. Oh, SC Prosers, put the brakes on. 
That's like a coin or a sinker. No, it looks like a damn battery from here. That's a lock. <laughs> Look at that. They're locko. That's the way I am today, locked. Target number two is low. Sounds good. Might be a nickel. Sounds like a nickel. I think it's a cruddy penny, though. Ah! Look at that damn penny. You see the beach here has got a lot of shells and rocks and pebbles. Nice stuff here. Oh, wait a minute, we got a... So we got to stop right here. To put the brakes on. I dug a... I don't know what this is, but I see it looks like a piece of wire. Or a doodad on the end of it. Bob wire. I don't know, it's a fence piece for a fence. I seen uh, my buddy Rick dig one just like this yesterday. Or Sunday, I guess it was, in the video I watched. Same piece, I think it is. He must have set it up there. Carrier pigeon. Anyway, getting back to the beach. It looks nice, you see? Shells, oyster shells, rocks, grass. Bigger rocks, little rocks. Nice piece of glass right there, you see it? There's stuff laying everywhere. A lot of poor tabs so far. Two pennies. You saw the lock. Something that the best we've seen so far today, let's put it that way. No, no hot goose by no means. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Killer low sound. Killer. Killer, I say. Sounds like a pull tab to me. Uh, she's got the set for them pull tabs today. That's what it is, a big old granddaddy one. Granddaddy pull tab. Come on, baby, get out of that pull tab mode. Get back where you belong. Yellow. Stand by. Kill her low, kill her low, I say. See what is hello, mermaid. Yeah, mermaid just went by. I don't see it, but right there. Oh, oh, granddaddy, another granddaddy. You turkey. And another low sound right here. Probably number four tab 502. I dug a lot of cruddy pennies you know, since I've been here. She's on a hot goose of cruddy pennies. I don't see a damn thing in here. What the fell through. Yep, whatever it is, it's a little. We got it out that time for the second time. Whatever it is, it's right in that little pod there, I hope. Yep. I don't see nothing there. The junk. Let's see if that's it. Nope.
It was in this little pile now. Oh, there it is, a little 22. You turkey, at least that's something different. I don't know what this is. This is a high sound. I mean, I know it's not a pull tab. Let's put it that way. Now that sounds like a pull tab. But it looks like a key. It looks like a big old brass key. That'll be it. Big brass key. Ah, baby. Well, the tide has got off now where we can work in this little break right here. You see it? Beach comes down, drops off right here. There's a bar right there. So there's a slough right through here, you see. So far, not many tickets. One gray matter and a penny, I think. Two rocks. Looks pretty good. Stand by. He thinks he found a waterproof watch. No, no, no. Yeah, it's got to be a watch because that's where the pins went. She's in kind of rough shape, though. It's her certificate for waterproof failed, I think. That's the battery. See, the back of it came off. That's the battery right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't... <laughs> Denny's found, I mean, Denny's found uh, James Polk, seventh president of the United States, like a commemorative coin. Since 1845 to 1849. He'll give me a better picture of it tonight. Got a whole bunch of stuff on the back. I doubt we'd be able to pick it up with this camera, but. I'm sure he'll send me. He'll send me a. He'll send me a close up of it. it. Says James Knock Pope, born sometime and sometime. A presidential coin. Pretty cool. That's the best thing we've seen today, right there, for me, anyway. Well, I don't see no best of it in here. Nowhere I look, I don't see anything that can make the best of it. I see a bunch of crap, though. <laughs> That's it, too. I don't know about tomorrow. I got a bunch of knives I got to pick up and do. Now it's going to be too late or either too early for me. We have to see how it goes. I think it's supposed to be nice too, 75. Stand by. <laughs>